Hi, my name is Jenna Blum, and I am the New York Times best-selling author of a novel called Those Who Save Us. I'm currently working on and researching a novel called The Storm Chasers, and I've been writing about severe weather for the past three years, including an article in the Boston Globe. I have been chasing storms since I was 16, since I got my driver's license. I began as a Yahoo, chasing in Minnesota in the summer with my brother, and sometimes I would also drag my mother on chases. And when I first started researching the storm chasers in earnest, I realized how much I did not know. So I hooked up with Martin Licious's Tempest Tours out of Texas. And for the last three summers, I've been chasing with Tempest. How did you get interested in weather? I've been interested in weather since I was a little girl. My mom's mom was from southern rural Minnesota. And every summer, my family used to go out and visit her. And when I was about four years old, we were there during an unusually active severe weather season so that every night the sirens would go off, my mom would come running into my room, grab me and my sister, or drag us down into the safe room in the basement. This was very exciting to a little girl. One night, um, the sirens did not go off, but I woke up because I heard something weird in the wind, this noise that was like, and I tried to wake up my mom. She did not move. I tried to wake up my grandmother and she did not move and I figured if they were going to die, I didn't want to be alive. So I went and I hid from the storm under my grandmother's Davenport, which is what she called her couch. And from beneath her couch in the living room, I watched a tornado move across her picture window from left to right, a uh, rope funnel tornado. The next morning, half of the town was gone and I've been fascinated with severe weather ever since. Why do you love storm chasing? I love storm chasing for many reasons. The first of which being that the sheer majesty and power of storms is unbelievable. It really is nature's greatest display. I am still, every time I'm out there, marveling at how uh, wind, which is basically air moving from one place to another, um, can uh, condense into a cumulus puff, a little cloud, that can then grow into a giant supercell that can be bigger than one, two, three counties, and if all the factors come together, that supercell can produce a tornado. I also love storm chasing because it's set against the backdrop of what um, the coastal America thinks of as the flyover states, the forgotten states in the middle of the country. To me, that's my territory. That's my heartland. I love the small towns. I love the farm towns. I love reconnecting with the people. Um, I love reconnecting with my roots whenever I go out chasing. Um, so I love chasing because of the, of the weather and the skies and the towns, and I also get to eat a lot of corn nuts. Why would you be good for this show? I think I would be good for the show because I do have some acquaintance with and some flexibility in front of the camera. My dad was a broadcaster, a producer for CBS and NBC and ABC in the 70s and 80s. His name was Bob Blum. And every time he needed a kid for a segment, he would bring me in. And so I would be on TV and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. Um, and I also, um, since then, have been disabused of that notion. But I do do a lot of public speaking, so I'm comfortable in front of big audiences. I've been promoting my novel, Those Who Save Us, for four years. And in that time, um, at least twice a month, I speak to audiences of 200 to 500 people and also speak to book clubs locally. So instead of being a misanthropic writer, through this and through chasing, which allows me to connect from, with people from all over this country and from other countries, I've been reminded of how much I really like being with people and communicating to people about what I'm passionate about. Um, which is storm chasing. I would like to communicate to a broad audience what um, chasing really is, which isn't just some Yahoo sport where everybody goes, woohoo, we're in the suck zone. Um, it's a, a science as stately as chess, and it's exciting, and it's, and it's uh, sort of a magical experience, and I'd like to communicate that. What was your most memorable chase? My most memorable chase was my most recent chase, May 22nd of this year. I was once again chasing with Tempest. Um, in previous years, I had grown accustomed to uh, relatively dry seasons where we would drive 500, 600, 800 miles a day looking for storms that might or might not produce funnels. Um, this year, May 22nd, we were in south central Kansas and my mentor at Tempest, Kenny Obi-Wan Adams, took me aside and he said, you know, you're a really good driver, because I follow the Tempest fans in my own car. 
Um, but this is major league stuff. You're going to be playing a fine line today between being safe and being in a situation you can't get out of. And that will change in seconds, so you have to be really vigilant. So I said okay, and we set off on our chase, and the first thing that happened while we were gassing up is that my chase partner, Marcia Perez, said, what is that in the tire? And in the right rear tire of our Jeep Laredo, there was a quarter-inch spike with a nickel-sized washer on top, topped with teeth embedded in the tire. And so I had to decide whether to stay at the gas station and maybe get hit by one of the tornado-worn supercells surrounding us on all sides, or follow the Tempest guys into the storm with a spike in my tire. And I went with Tempest because I trust them and they have the radar and they have the know-how. And of course, as we were driving under the mesocyclone, which is the part of the storm from which the funnel will drop, and the emergency broadcast system was going crazy, um, and I was saying, wow, that's right overhead, the tire popped. Um, and what happened next was the Tempest guys got out, changed our tire in five minutes flat, got us back on the road just in time to see that storm produce tornado after tornado after tornado. It turned into a sort of carousel of tornadoes. And so that was my most memorable chase not only because of the storm, but because of the trust and the excitement and the fear that preceded it. Thanks for your consideration.